everyone, this is Marlo Nama, and welcome to another playthrough. In this game, uh, I've heard about, th uh, this game is called Jumpix Jump. Fucking brilliant name. I first heard about this, um, through one of my friends, uh, DX Fan, uh, DX Fan, and you can actually, he did a playthrough of this game, and... You can um, see um, his videos there, and I've actually heard that this is actually um, one of the worst games you'll ever see, and you're about to see why. This is obviously a Unity asset cut and paste. Now the options here is the audio effects and the music right there. Now a lot of these games have inconsistent volumes. This is obviously, um, Bubsy 3D and Space Jam cut and paste. He, this, I have to agree that this really is what Bubsy 3D would look like if this were paint, made 20 years later. Now, there's only four levels, five levels you can, uh, just, um, scroll pick manually. There's obviously no game uh, progression here. Let's start with level one, because why not? And by the way, this is only, um, by the way, this is actually, um, only four dollars on Steam. You, you run with the WASD, the WADS, uh, control, with, um, controlling the camera with your mouse, mouse cursor, and the camera does not auto-orient based on how, based on what direction you run, and oh my god! Look at that animation. And Jumpix, uh, despite the name, he doesn't jump really high. You expect that he jump real high, and he does not. And look at that frame rate. This is obviously an inappropriate world map based on the type of character model he is. Remember my playthrough of Hoop Long Dung, where it's a realistic chimpanzee in a um, cartoon world? Well, here it's the opposite. And if you don't turn the camera... Oh my god! Seriously, the guy is he's stuck! Now this is supposed to be a 3D platformer walking simulator. And... By platformer I mean this, looks, this, plat this level looks more like an obstacle course rather than a, a platformer level. Because... I actually heard level 1 is really just an extremely large pre-bought world map. And when I tr I'm trying to complete this obstacle course as much as I can before I show you um, the, uh, the entire level that they just dropped in. Everything. Um, look at that frame rate. It's beautiful, isn't it? the camera because the because the developer couldn't code a following camera to um follow the player. I think you're supposed to collect all these flowing um triangles as much as possible from point A to point B. Oh god! DX span is right! And this already has a bunch of negative reviews. To s it's way overpriced based on how the quality of this game. This is obviously a pre bought world map with, um. with, um, just basic polygons built in Unity. Now, Unity is not a bad low quality engine, it's just the, e the easiest, um. 3D and game engine to understand out there. And I can't even. There we go. Oh, 
Oh god, no! Sometimes he'll jump up there and sometimes he will not. See look, there's such a delay between the running and stuff. This game will really force you to, um, you're basically some- This obviously doesn't look like a platformer, it looks like, um, a, a basketball furry, um, just running in an obstacle course in his backyard. Jump, you stupid furry! There we go. You only jump if he feels like it. Of course. Screw it. Go see what happens if I reach the end point. Um, I don't think you're supposed to collect all these things, but I'll see. He jumps a very short distance here, see, and he falls through. as early tumor games, but as the early tumor games, but those games are fun. Um, and the controls are responsive as intended. What? And the controls are responsive as intended. And I fell off. So you have to go through the, then now I have to go back all the others, all the way back to the other side of the obstacle course to start all over again, because the dev couldn't even put ladders in case you program ladders in case you fall off. Or something like that. Actually, this seriously looks like a a bit a, an early alpha of a PS2 game, and that's by saying a lot. What the hell are those things there? What the hell are those cow poles here doing there? Good God. See, there's such a delay between the walking. I didn't press jump by any means. See, it does. See, see, see the. See, the camera does not automatically re reorient. Reorient itself. Not screw it. I'm actually just gonna explore this level and see how far it goes. This is officially one of the, um, a new contender for Among the Worst Games of 2016. And this was released all the way back in February. Platformers on Greenlight. And they're, they offer nothing special, it's the same stuff over and over again. I'm pretty much getting sick of hearing about them, it's such an oversaturated market. But, this game... Makes me absolutely hate, um, the, this particular genre, for the time being. And this game will make you, um, absolutely hate it, hate platformers as well. Now, I'm not saying that all platformers are bad, but, um, there's some really good ones out there, but they're just oversaturated, there's a lot of bad ones as well. I'm not and that's the same thing for every genre of every video game, okay? And I cannot even see my spawning point. I can't even see the obstacle course around my spawning point. And now you are officially lost. Try to find your way back now. This 
level goes on and on and on forever. God, that music is irritating. That high-pitched screeching flute. A high-pitched irritating flute that's playing out of tune. Um, I, it does sound out of tune, because I actually, believe it or not, I actually did used to play the flute, um, back in middle school for about a year and a half. And it's not supposed to sound like this. It sounds like this if you're starting out, though, but if you practice, it's supposed to sound very beautiful. This is like the sound a beginner makes, basically, and a beginner play makes. Or if the instrument is seriously out of tune. It's irritating, but at least it's not being played over and over again. Even beginner middle school bands sound better than this. And I've been in one. And I've actually done- why I say I've only done a year and a half well? Because I started cheerleading, and it was, um, I basically had a hard time juggling it, so I had to basically give that up in order to sacrifice with my schedule, or to, um, not conflict with the schedule, because cheerleading was, cheerleading was a much bu busier schedule than band was. But I did play in the ta in the talent show as one of my swan, as one of my swan songs. It was a Christmas song, basically. And uh, I'm just seeing how, well, oh my god. No, this level must have my, the size of this map must m might be more appropriate for like a racing game, like an ATV or dirt bike game, but not for a platformer where you um, walk as an over white where, where you slowly leisurely jog as an overgrown furry who walks like he has a stick up his ass. I am officially lost to where it would be far more time consuming to just restart to the main menu and choose another level. Oh god! God, the music is so irritating! My ears are playing! It's even worse than the last level! And the game froze! And now it's gone back. You jump so poorly and there's such a huge collision box. That's never a guarantee whether or not you'll jump on a platform or not. Yeah, because it also falls under the category of running simulator. There's no true progress to be made in the game here, just um, actively selected stages and you are designed to simply rack up as high the scores you can possibly get. Nothing new here. I mean, the stages are pretty much nothing you progress to, you just, um, they're they're already, um, unlocked at the start, and you can, uh, freely select through them at will, like Mario Kart games. But Mario Kart's a lot more fun. Heck, this music is killing me. STOP! <sighs> silent. Alright, one more level, and we're done with this shit. Oh my god! It's the mu- it's the same music me menu music! How lame can you get? They forgot to compose a separate soundtrack! If they ever composed any music! Never mind.
Oh god. So this is the cabin scene in the intro of the game. Let's see what's in here. There's a diamond thing you can't... Oh, and there's, it's a cartoon house put in a realistic level. The character obviously looks out of place, because why not? Dude, the, um... Um, un do the um standstill camera makes it impossible for you to judge your distance or your angle, so you have to manually rotate it. Fuck off. Fuck this. Just run off this tree house. And by the way, there's no life bar. So by the looks of it, there's no way to die. Ever want to play a video game where you couldn't die? Where it's impossible to lose? It's very similar to Big Rigs Over the Road Racing, where it's impossible to lose the race with this your winner box. And if- Okay. I can't commit suicide. I'll have to end the game right here. And I really hope they bring something to um, E3 this year. It's only a, a few days away. And I don't expect- By gods, do not expect Konami to make um, a stage presence. Because fuck Konami. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it, and I really hope they come up with something new for Final Fantasy XV that's going to be out um, in September, of course, and for Kingdom Hearts 3. This is Melonama, signing off.